The best of each other. Okay. Intro. Morning, everyone. Welcome to Car Rides with Connor. The time is 6.59. We are still in the driveway. We had every intention this morning to, to make today the day. The day. Yet, yet, I seem the only one five steps ahead. Just being honest. That's why we love you. Yeah. We like the honesty. Yeah. We need it in our lives. You know, that's what, what is a nickname to truth serum? Uh, yeah. That's because when I'm putting on an outfit and I'm nervous that I look, let's say a little plumptious in it. Oops. I always reassure mom that she is not Or you have told me at times if something didn't look right, you do that little face. And I know right off the bat, I need to change. Me. Pardon me. Pull your, you know what? Someone pushed that chair way back and I can't see your gorgeous face. Can you try to, no, you're going, you're going further. No, oh, that's your back. Like your that was your this, you dude. You don't need to sit like the letter L. Hang on, let me pull over so we don't. It's all right. Like kill people. Here, okay, go back a little bit. Okay, now it's the but this piece. Is there another? Yeah, yeah. There's another one there. Yes, yes, King. There we go. Much better. I don't know what I think. I got the car vacuumed out. I think the guy pushed it way back. <laughs> right. So sorry. You gave the date and time and all that. Yes, I did. Sorry. We are officially one week old on our Netflix life and you finished your coffee so we can't even cheers. Uh, cheers with your empty cup. Sorry. Right. It's just we have to. Cheers. Yep. To you, sir. Yeah. And you're handling the response like an absolute champ, I yeah. might say. Yeah. Everything's been so really nice about you and it's been so positive. So again, last time to say or say it again, I guess we can't say it enough. Thank you for loving my boy and seeing what our family has had a lucky, lucky front seat to have for 24, almost 25 years. Yep. What's up, brother? You are turning 25. In March. But you have the coolest birthday. This is something that's notable. When's your birthday? March 17th, 1999. Such a fab birthday. Uh, yes. Talk about lucky. I was lucky. The luck of the Irish was on my, smiling on me that day. In fact, being born on St. Patrick's Day inspired my parents to give me an, give me an Irish name. Actually, I have wanted to name you Connor since I was in college. I know. Never met your dad, ever, uh, ever. Yeah, and you, I was yeah, like, you didn't I know, have a son named Connor you didn't, someday. You didn't know that Connor was an Irish name at the time. No, I just liked it. Really thought, I'm like... I just, I think I just said, I would like to have a son named Connor someday. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna get married or if I will have all girls, but boy, oh boy, did I wish for a son named Connor. And guess what? First time, mm -hmm. yep. oldest child, boy. And I was like, Jack oldest Cotton. of four. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I literally met your dad and I was like, if you don't like this name, we, I don't know that we could be married. Because I've had my heart set on this name for years. Yeah, then a couple years later, I became a big brother. You did. To twins. That was freaky. Which is crazy. Because, fun fact, my dad is actually a twin. That is a fun fact. That is a total fun fact. Um, I know we're going to do a, a shorter video about it, but you're... Why don't you tell people your dad's heritage and your heritage? As well... Well, my dad came over from England in the 90s. He's, and um, for? For, uh, uh, well, to meet my to meet my mom. Not to meet me, we oh, met. Oh, yeah. But he moved a, here for years, truly. Yeah. Uh, he did, he did. <laughs> anyway, the rest is history. Yep. We got a Connor. Check the box on my bucket list. <laughs> I'm guessing you never thought you'd be a mother of four. No. I honestly imagined two because I just, I don't know, just thought of two kids. I just thought, cool, let's have two. It seems manageable. Yeah. And then I got a two for one deal on the second time out. So that, then I said, okay, three, three's cool. Two boys and a girl, fab. And then, then on October 26th, 2004, my Surprise. little brother. 
Yes. My little brother Jack came into the world. Yep. yep. You're just an awesome big brother. You were a good way to start the whole show then, man. Yep. You know, usually the opening act is just holding out for the headliner. No, ma'am. No, sir. Yep. Anyway, we tried to get out the door early this morning. Why didn't it work? I mean, it was 6.35 and I was like, let's do this. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I, was, oh, I hit a little snag with my laundry. You don't need to know this. Okay. I will respect the fact that I don't need to know it, so thank you. Probably don't want to know it, but you handled it. Whatever yes. it is, it's handled. Yes. Good. Okay, so another notable thing, and I guess we need to thank everybody. We went yes. from like, this YouTube channel was formed for family and friends because I think as you've gotten to know Connor in a really short time and in the seven episodes, Connor is a font. Mm -hmm an overflowing, brimming font of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And every single day of my life, I pretty much learned something new with him. And I would go to work every morning and I would say, hey, coworkers, mm. listen to what Connor said today. And my boss was like, you need to write this stuff down. And quite frankly, if you know me, I'm never gonna read a book. And I'm never going to write anything down because I don't like to write or read. Yeah, I, I enjoy reading, but, but I don't really do much writing. I, mean, I, I, I could never... I mean, I don't... I mean, most, most of the things I imagine in my mind I get from my other books or movies, truth be told. Well, I, so you would be a giant plagiarist <sighs> if you wrote, is what you're saying. Well, well there are actually the, those who... Those who... Public their own spins on stories like that. It's called... Okay. Uh, those people practice the ancient art of fan fiction. Okay, so there you go. That would be you. You would be an awesome fan fiction writer. Yes. I think if you didn't have to take pen to paper, do you even not like typing? I mean, I, mean, I do like typing, but I'm, I'm also... Well, I'm... I can be prone to writer's block. Actually, what am I talking about? I don't even know. I don't, uh, I don't write or anything. Hi. Anyway. Sorry, high beams. Oh, that got, oh, you know, it was just a truck. Probably a lifted truck down here in Georgia. And the lights got in your eye. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, we've had some questions come in with all of our new subscribers. So, yay. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Um, but, okay, there was a question, and I'm so sorry whoever posted it. I saw it last night. I was going to bed. I probably actually screenshot it in my phone, but it's too late now because we're on my phone. Okay, something about Lord of the Rings. I definitely want to know which was your favorite Lord of the Rings movie. Um, if I had to choose, yeah. I think The Two Towers. Okay. Do you want to expand on that? Well, it shows was what happens after the Fellowship breaks up into groups. Sam and Frodo are on their way to Mordor. Merry and Pippin have been captured by Urukai. Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli are trying to rescue them. Merry and Pippin managed to save themselves and found safe haven in Fangorn Forest. Meanwhile, Frodo and Sam run into Faramir of Gondor. Aragorn. I remember and these names and these places. I spent. I've been watching Lord of the Rings, playing the... I've seen all the movies, I played the played the video games. I even saw every episode of the Rings of Power. I know Middle Earth like the back of my hand. As I'm sure Ben knows Westeros like the back of his. Probably. Well, you asked. And then there was a question, a compound question in that question about that Lord of the Rings. And I feel like it was about a sword. I'm gonna mess it up so I don't remember so I'm so sorry whoever wrote that in but I don't know are there swords in Lord of the Rings oh yes many there's a uh, okay. Anduril the flame of the west which belongs to Aragorn well, before it was known as Narsil which belonged to his ancestor King Elendil mm -hmm. before it was broken anywho there was the sword sting though it's a uh, well I'm sure to a hobbit it's a, a sword but to a human, it's more of a letter opener, really. Basically, 
It was wielded by Bilbo Baggins, who later passed it on to his nephew Frodo. So if you have a bunch of mail to open, we need to call Frodo. <laughs> yeah. And there was also Glamdring, the foe hammer, which was wielded by the wizard Gandalf. How do you... It freaks me out that you know, and the names are so weird. Uh, it's Elvish. I mean, I'm Dory the Fish over here. I don't even think I know your name. <laughs> Short-term memory loss. That's what Dory had. Yeah, I don't know. I feel her. Yeah. She is my spirit animal. A blue tang fish. Yes, but specifically her, because she gets off track and forgets what's going on. Yeah. Anyway, so that was that question. So I hope we answer... Well, oh, I there was also Orchrist. The Goblin Cleaver, Sword of the Dwarf King, Thorin Oakenshield, but, and I think that, uh, there's a bunch of more, bunch of others, but... Okay, so out of time. those, if you had to pick a favorite sword, or if you would wield one of them, which would you wield? Andril. That was quick. Excellent. Okay, the other one was the Avatar question. Do you remember that one? Yes. Which, uh... Which, which, air which airbender? episode... No, no, no. Which episode was my favorite? This is why we lean on you. If I had to choose, I think I would say hey, it would be the final episodes of season one. And Ang and his friends finally reach the North Pole well, to find a waterbending teacher. Admiral Zhao forms the largest fleet in Fire Nation history. He, truly something worthy of the history books. Is this the, um, the cartoon? Yes, one? it is. That was, that was cool. Um, probably need to give you the keys in the checkbook and just let you run the house, man. <laughs> just much more... How, you do that and I'll turn the whole house into a castle keep. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'll live in a castle. Yeah. Uh, dreamer. I, I can dream. Yeah. Anyway. We got a big weekend coming up. We are excited. There is a watch party tomorrow um, at um, Life with um, Gina Cavalli and Claire, and they worked the event that was Table Talk that Connor did the speed dating event at, and then Claire runs the Spectrum, and it's a, just a wonderful um, place where adults on the spectrum can socialize and, and do a bunch of events. So we're going to go there tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. We're going to actually be hanging out with... With Sasha and Emily. So it'll be so fun to just get with friends. Yep. And uh, we'll make sure we take a lot of pictures. We'll post them, right? Of course. Yeah, get the, we want the three of you together. Of course. Because it's all about friendship and just a big old love fest. Yeah. Um... We are pulling up. So, oh man, it's 7.13. How many days this week has it been 7.13? Uh, We're hopeless, Connor. Oh, wait, correction. I'm hopeless. Yeah. Not I'm you. Already away. Taking all ready, ready to get out the door. Anyway. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and stay classy, planet Earth. I like the new sign-off, bro. Hey, have a great day. You too. All right. Love you, mean it. Awesome. It is Friday. Yes. Everybody have a great Friday. Thanks again for watching. You know, driving the car is like the third thing I'm doing besides drinking coffee and holding a dog. So I'll jump to side A and being safe. Seatbelt is on and Coco will go in the passenger seat in a minute. So thanks everybody. Have a great day. Happy weekend. And thanks for the love, support, and the subscribers. Just the new ones. Welcome. Hope you like us. We are amateurs. We are not professional digital creators, but we hope you like our little goofy show. Okay. Love you, mean it. Bye.